Hi, first graders. So this week's big book is called Scrunch the Caterpillar. And it's written by Stephen Krensky and it's illustrated by Jennifer Morris. Scrunch the Caterpillar. And here are the characters that are in this book. There's Scrunch, Grasshopper, Spider, Ant, and B. Scrunch was very good at crawling and eating leaves. But that was all he could do. One day, Scrunch saw his friend Grasshopper. I can rub my legs on my wings and make music, Grasshopper bragged. Maybe I could do that, said Scrunch. Scrunch rubbed his legs on his back, but nothing happened. Then Scrunch saw Ant. I can carry things that are bigger than I am, Ant said. Maybe I could do that, said Scrunch. Scrunch tried to carry a big leaf, but he dropped it. Then Scrunch saw a bee. I can make sweet honey, buzzed bee. Scrunch knew he couldn't do that. So he just kept crawling and eating. But he felt sad. Wow, said Scrunch, as he watched Spider spin a web. Scrunch knew he couldn't do that. But I think there is something else I can do, he said. The next day, Scrunch stopped crawling and eating, and he wrapped himself inside a hard shell. So there he is, wrapping himself up, and here he is all wrapped up. When Scrunch came out, a few days later, he looked different. So you see how he looked here. And now after he's been wrapped up in his shell, look how different he looks. Can you make music? Can you carry heavy things? Can you make honey? Can you spin a web? Asked his friends. No, I can't, said Scrunch, but I can do this. Okay, so let's stop right here. What do you think Scrunch is going to do next? So make a prediction. What do you think Scrunch is going to do next? So think for one minute. You can share with a family member or just think to yourself. Okay, let's see if your prediction is correct. Let's see what Scrunch is going to do. 
Then Scrunch spread his new butterfly wings and flew up into the sky. I wish I could do that, said his friends. Okay, so here's the author's note. Caterpillar to butterfly. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. When it gets big enough, the caterpillar forms a cocoon. The caterpillar stays inside for two or three weeks as its body changes. And when it hatches, it's a butterfly. Okay, first graders. So I hope you enjoyed that story. And next time when we read it, we'll read it together. So take care for now. Keep working hard and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.